Peace be to you. A woman wrote to me about her brother, saying that he was dying in a hospital and that he had been away from the sacraments for about 30 years. She said he led not just a bad life, he was an evil man. There's a difference between being bad and being evil. Bad man steals, bad man kills. An evil man may do none of those things, but he seeks to destroy goodness in others. Well, he was an evil man. He did much to corrupt youth and circulated all manner of evil pamphlets among the young to destroy both faith and morals. And the sister of this man, when she wrote, said, about 20 priests have called on him and he threw them all out of the hospital room. So will you please go? Last resort, Sheen, I am. I visited him this particular night and stayed about five seconds because I knew that I would fare no better than anyone else. But instead of just making one visit, I made 40. For 40 straight nights, I went to see this man. The second night, I stayed about 10, 15 seconds. And I went up 5, 10 seconds every night. And at the end of the month, I was spending 10 or 15 minutes with him. But I never once broached the subject of his soul until the 40th night. The 40th night, I brought with me the Blessed Sacrament and the Holy Oils, and I said to him, William, you are going to die tonight. He said, I know it. He was dying of cancer, but cancer of the face. One of the most loathsome sights you ever saw. I said, I'm sure you want to make your peace with God tonight. He said, I do not. Get out. I said, I'm not alone. Who's with you? I said, I brought the good Lord along. Do you want him to get out too? He said nothing. So I knelt down alongside of his bed for about 15 minutes because I had the Blessed Sacrament with me. And I promised the good Lord that if this man would show some sign of repentance before he died, that I would build a chapel in the southern part of the United States for the poor people a chapel costing $3,500. Not much of a chapel? No, but an awful lot of money for me. So after the prayer, I again said, William, I'm sure you want to make your peace with God before you die. He said, I do not. Get out. And he started screaming for the nurse. So in order to stop him, I ran to the door as if I were going to leave. And then I quickly came back. And I put my head down alongside of his face on the pillow. And I said, just one thing, William. Promise me, before you die tonight, you will say, my Jesus, mercy. He said, I will not get out. I had to leave. I told the nurse that if he wanted me during the night that I would come back. About four o'clock in the morning, the nurse called. And she said he just died. And I said, how did he die? Well, she said, about a minute after you left, 
he began saying, My Jesus, mercy. And he never stopped saying it until he died.